Hello, and welcome to the Forces Unit of Phys 1101. Up till now we've been doing kinematics, which is the description of motion. But now we're going to move on to dynamics, which is all about why things move and why they move the way they do. And this is going to get us into a discussion of forces. So a force is just a push or a pull. I think we agree that this shot putter here is pushing on this ball, and that's why it's about to go flying through the air. These bobsledders are pushing on their sled. But what exactly does a force do? We've already seen that it's not sufficient just to say the ball flies through the air or the sled moves down the slope. We need to be more specific. We need to be able to say something about how its velocity changes to have a full description. So we need to be able to describe how forces affect moving things in more detail. And as well, it's going to be an equally important question to think about what happens to objects when no forces are acting on them, when nothing is pushing or pulling on them. So what you see here is me about to pull a cart along a track, and the cart is very low friction, and I'm going to pull it with an elastic band. And what you may have noticed about an elastic band is that the more you stretch it, the more force it takes to keep it stretched. So if I pull the cart, keeping the elastic band stretched the same amount, I'll be exerting a pretty constant force on the cart. So this is science we're doing here, and in science we always test our beliefs against experiment. And this is an experiment. I'm going to pull that cart with a pretty constant force, and we're going to see what its motion is like. And so you should see whether what you currently believe agrees with experiment. And, being a scientist, you have to be ready to discard your belief if it doesn't agree with the experiment. So have a look at these possibilities. If you're just watching this on YouTube, then I suggest you pause the video and write down which of these you think is correct, and then you'll go on to the next video and see the answer. If you're doing this in my course and you're working off the course Moodle, then the Moodle is going to ask you to answer this question and then it'll take you to the next video.